This is my backcountry ski quiver for the 2018-19 ski season. And I have everything that ranges from the narrow to the wide to the flat terrain to the steep and deep terrain. There's a big difference between the two ends of the spectrum. The Traverse 78s would be considered an off-trail ski. And uh, it's a traditional double cambered ski. I have NNN backcountry bindings on it. I'm going to use a softer boot with this setup. Great for putting in a lot of miles and flat, fairly rolling terrain. More of what you think of when you think of a traditional cross-country ski. And then moving up, a little more rolling terrain, a little bit deeper snow, uh, maybe a few turns here and there. Use the S-Bound 98s. It's a nice lightweight setup. Use it with a little more stiffer boot. And I'm using the Duckbill 75 millimeter binding with this setup. And uh, this is a great combination when uh, you know, you're, you're out, you're tooling along, you're making some distance, but you know there's going to be some, some nice downhill runs. You might want to carve a few turns and, and have some fun with that. Then next up is the S-Bound 125. This is the widest ski that uh, Fisher makes in what they call the Nordic type of camber. It's still a fairly cambered ski, so you can bounce along in the flats. It's a little wide and a little heavy, but it gives you that extra flotation that's often helpful when the, when the snow is you know, knee-deep and it's fresh powder. You can use this with a combination of a softer boot like this, or you can use a plastic boot like the Scarpa T4, or even a heavier boot like the uh, Scarpa T2. I normally, when I'm skiing, I used to ski this with a Scarpa T4, and a switchback S2 binding. That was my go-to ski for more aggressive um, terrain. But this year I'm trying something new. I've switched to primarily a ski that's designed mainly for going downhill, and that's the Bole Hyper 6BC. With this particular ski, you definitely, you know, you're going to use a, a plastic boot. And I've got the T2s for that. It's a heavy but uh, great combination. And the amount of control that you can get skiing down steeper terrain is absolutely marvelous. Um, and all you can say is you have to put up with <laughs> the inability to scoot along the flats like a Nordic ski. So there's limitations and advantages to each of these setups. And I'll pick the particular setup depending upon the conditions.